Peace guys. I just wanted to come on and make this video for those who are joining me on my juice free. And I call it a juice free because we're going to allow ourselves to go crazy and have fun and drink as much freshly squeezed juice, freshly juice juice or freshly blended juice that we our body wants and we desire because we are giving our body that H3O, which is that extra hydrogen that you cannot get from bottled water or tap water. And not only that, we are giving our body the nutrition that is in its raw state. You know, it's not been cooked. It ain't been processed. It's in its raw state. So you're getting all that natural nutrition and you can never go wrong with that. And not only that, we are giving our body a break from heavy digestion. We are allowing our body to just break down the juice that's already broken down and just absorb all the natural nutrients and minerals and water content that our body needs to be thriving in its optimal wellness. So today I just wanted to give a few tips and suggestions that in case you are new to juicing and don't really know how it works. First suggestion is explore, have fun. There is no set combination when it comes to juicing. You just allow your taste buds and your intuition to guide you when it comes to making juices. Um, you know, there are some fruits and vegetables that is more juicier than the other ones. For instance, like when I make my green juices, I use like kale and spinach and dandelion greens. And those do not have a lot of juice, natural juice content in it. So whenever I create those, I actually make sure I use other fruits that are juicy to supplement the juice, to complement the juice. So like cucumbers, or you can use um, apples, or you can even use pineapples and, um, you know, just explore. Um, like, cause my friend, I made some juices for her last time I did my juice cleanse and she was like, I want all my base to be pineapple. And I was coming up with some different concoctions and it ended up turning, all of them turned out great. She was so happy. She said she never drink juices that she liked all the time and all of them were perfect. And I made her like, I think four or five different combinations of pineapple based juices. And like I said, you can use berries, you can use all types of fruit. Just allow your mind to explore and then listen to your body. And so let it intuitively guide you on what you like and what you don't like when it comes to things. When you juice in celery, that if you don't like the way celery tastes, you can always add the apples again or the pineapples again. Same thing with beets. My friend, she said, I don't like beet juice. So you know what I put in? The pineapples and other flavors. So it won't be so potent as the beet juice. So you still get some of the beet juice natural properties as well as the other contents too. Um, another suggestion, me personally, I put ginger and turmeric in everything. Um, they are some very powerful roots that is good for inflammation. It is good for the digestive system. It's good for breaking down the mucus in the body and all things like that. So I put ginger in everything and all you need is a little bit of ginger. And if you're going to make you a ginger shot or a ginger juice, all you need is that little bit of ginger and the whole apple and that's your whole ginger shot. So ginger is good to be put in everything. But if you don't like the ginger, you know, you don't have to put it in there. But that is one of the, one of the best roots, ginger and turmeric, good root to put in everything. Also, another tip I like to use, but you don't have to, is add some spice up in there. Um, I, sometimes I use jalapeno peppers. Sometimes I use habanero peppers. You can go up to whatever level of peppers you like. But that spice is another thing that can break down that digestive system help things break down also bringing out the cutting out the mucus in the body and the sinuses you know what i'm saying that heat bringing the heat into the body is very good practice and you only need a little bit and if you do use the um peppers make sure you try to take out the seeds because the seeds is what makes it extra extra spicy so if you're juicing that just take out the seeds and just juice the um the you know the flesh and stuff like that and just if you only want a little bit just cut a little piece in there and just juice it just go to your level again. Like I said, explore, have fun. And um, my intentions personally is I'm going to drink four juices a day and one meal. And um, so that is my goal for the month. And um, I've been juicing since 2016. And that was even before I started my vegan journey. I started my vegan journey in 2018. And I've been juicing since 2016. Just different times in my life where I just was, you know, giving my body a break from heavy digestion like that. That is what I was doing. And this is springtime. So this is a great time to release all that little extra winter weight. And all. this is a great time to allow ourselves to 
um, cleanse out our body before um, spring begins. So if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to message me, inbox me. Peace.